Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is all about jewelry. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys style tips on how to put together jewelry pieces. So I haven't talked about this on my channel. Now, I am totally no expert, but I did learn something that I've learned in the past few years when it comes to putting jewelry pieces together. So hopefully what I learned will help any of you guys out. So I'm going to be sharing lots of do's and lots of don'ts. And I'm just really excited to share all of these tips with you guys. I'll also be sharing like different jewelry combinations that I like to put together as well as I'm talking through all of the tips today. And also this video is in collaboration with Anna Luisa. So you guys know I absolutely love them. Every single time you see me wear jewelry, it's always Anna Luisa. I get tons of questions literally probably every single day of you know where my jewelry is from where can I get it it's all from Anna Luisa literally a hundred percent of the time so I have been working with them for almost two years now so many of you may already recognize them and they are by far my favorite jewelry brand Ever. I genuinely am obsessed with them, their brand, their company, their jewelry pieces. They are so my style and they're so easy to mix and match and put pieces together. Very ethical and sustainable and their jewelry doesn't irritate my skin, which is a big thing for me. The pieces that they sell are very timeless, so they will look good forever. So I recently did pick up a few new pieces. So I got these like hoop earrings, which I feel like are a great staple for your jewelry collection because when you are playing it up with lots of layered necklaces, it's really nice to have uh, earrings that are a little bit more simple and just kind of toned down a bit since the necklaces are kind of like the star of the show. And then I also got this cuff, which is my first time ever getting one. I'm really excited and I feel like it elevates it a little bit more, makes it look so cool. So I love this. And then I also got this long layered necklace here. I'll put the exact name of it on the screen here, but this is so perfect to pair with all of my like choker styled necklaces. So I have three layered here and it's really nice when you're layering like three necklaces, having the longer one a little bit more simple. And overall, I think putting these three together look beautiful. It would also make an amazing gift for Mother's Day. So right now they're actually doing buy one, get one 40% off. So you can stock up for your mom, stock up for yourself. And they're so classic that I feel like everybody will love them. So they're a perfect gift. They're great to add to your collection. Very minimal and simple, ethical, sustainable. Overall, just all good things. So anyways, I will leave all their information in the description box down below for you guys if you wanted to check them out. Again, it's buy one, get one 40% off. So it's such a good deal right now. The first tip is was actually from a subscriber. So I have to make this the first tip because it was a subscriber tip. And I didn't notice it until she pointed it out, which thank you. So when you're wearing like a long v-neck top avoid wearing like the choker styled necklace especially if you're on the shorter side i feel like it really cuts off in an awkward way and i think it's totally fine when you're stacking jewelry with a long v top but i think when you go for longer necklaces it looks a lot better so instead of wearing something that completely wraps around your neck i would wear something maybe that like droops down a little bit and that way you can still wear layered necklaces but it's not cutting off in an awkward way or what I think looks even more amazing is just having one long necklace and maybe play up the earrings a little bit and I think that will look absolutely fantastic. Now when it comes to wearing a crew neck style t-shirt, I love just going all out and just stacking the necklaces and having fun with it um, especially with the crew style because you can wear like the choker necklace since it's a crew neck I think it's flattering that way you can go with long layered necklaces I think look beautiful now on the flip side the don't is don't stack too many necklaces the saying too much of a good thing is true um, especially when you are wearing a basic tee it's definitely really fun to elevate it and add the jewelry pieces especially the layered necklaces earrings rings bracelets all those fun things but it comes to a point when it can be too much so really play around with it and just see if it does look together because sometimes if you're wearing a really casual outfit like a basic tee and jeans and you add so many jewelry pieces I feel like it can be too much do layer up to three necklaces this is the rule I stick to one to three necklaces I do not go above three I feel like that's when it becomes really really messy so when things are done in three it's so much more aesthetically pleasing with clothing with layering with necklaces with home decor when things are done in threes it's just so aesthetically pleasing so definitely stick to that don't go beyond three when it comes to necklaces and I also think maybe even with rings as well I'm wearing three rings they're on separate fingers um, but I think like 
this amount looks great. I'm wearing one bracelet here, three necklaces, earrings, and a hoop. So they're all minimal and simple, and I have jewelry in all different places, but I'm not adding like more than three on like my arm, my rings, my earrings, my necklaces, because it can be too much. And when you are layering in threes or twos, play around with different textures, different lengths of the jewelry. That's when I think it becomes so much fun when you're styling jewelry because mixing the different textures and designs really make it look unique and it also makes it look really expensive as well. Don't do matchy matchy jewelry. That's when I think, this is might be just my personal opinion, I think jewelry can look super cheap if you just match from like head to toe, for example. So if you have like the matching earrings, the matching necklace, the matching rings, the matching bracelets, I think it's gonna look really cheap. So when you are purchasing jewelry like in a set, like I think it's a good idea, you know, if you see a necklace you really like, and they have matching earrings, great, has a matching ring, okay, that's fine, and you love the design, I think it's totally fine purchasing it. I just don't think it's a good idea to wear it all together because I think that just overall cheapens the jewelry and with jewelry the fun thing is like I just mentioned is mixing the different designs and I think that looks more expensive I think that looks more aesthetically pleasing versus having everything match now I think you can have some matchy matchy pieces and still have it look good like for example you can have earrings and a ring for example match um, because they're kind of further away from each other if that makes sense uh, versus having like matching earrings matching necklace where it's close together um, that I think can look good if you're doing minimal and very dainty pieces but if you're doing very bold matching jewelry like bold earrings and bold necklace then that could look cheap so this tip is kind of a little tricky because you can still get around it and wear matching jewelry but you just got to be careful with it don't have too much going on for example if you have the necklaces the star of the show you have three necklaces they're kind of out there a little bit more bold maybe play down the earrings and the other accessories so that way it just doesn't look like it's too much or on the flip side if you have earrings that are a little bit more unique a little bit more bold and stand out ish uh, maybe play down the necklaces don't do bold everywhere i know jewelry is so exciting it's so fun to play around with especially when you first kind of get into it and have your first pieces and it's so exciting but don't do too much i also want to mention don't wear too much jewelry if you have a top that kind of has a lot going on to it so i'm going to share two examples here so i have my puff sleeve florally knit sweater top and i wouldn't wear this top with lots of different like necklaces like layered bold necklaces and earrings i would keep the jewelry toned down and wear my very minimal and simple pieces with it because i think that looks better sure you know the one where i'm sharing the more jewelry pieces to it i mean that i think it does look good but i think what looks even better is if you just tone down the jewelry a bit maybe go with thinner necklaces simple earrings or thinner necklaces and maybe play up the earrings just to kind of add to it and you know everybody has like different clothing and different tops so there's so many more different examples I could show you when it comes to tops but this is an example of something that I have in my wardrobe now with this top this is an eyelet top that has a crew neck style sleeveless I wouldn't wear it with like a pendant necklace for example or a long layered necklace since the neckline is high up and it has an eyelet detail to it, it has like different material and texture to it so it's kind of like a stand out ish type of top so instead i'll probably just wear a really thin necklace that in that like a choker style almost where it's barely noticeable and i would play up the earrings with this top specifically so i do have jewelry in to really add to it but i'm not doing too much since these two tops for example do have a lot going on that brings it to the end of this video i really hope you enjoyed it and as always i have everything linked down below and again anna louise is doing a big sale buy one get one 40 percent off highly recommend stocking up pieces for yourself for your mom because mother's day is coming up so it's such a fantastic gift idea i have all their information linked down below i also have you know everything that i shared in my clips and b-rolls like clothing wise i have that linked in the description box down below so again huge 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 thank you to Anna Luisa for collaborating with me on this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!